Angie has made it easier than ever to connect with skilled professionals to get all your jobs projects done well. If you own a home, you know how much work it can take, whether it's everyday maintenance and repairs or making dream projects a reality. It can be hard just to know where to start, but now all you need to do is Angie that and find a skilled local pro who will deliver the quality and expertise you need. Angie has over 20 years of home service experience, and they've combined it with new tools to simplify the whole process. Bring them your project online or with the Angie app, answer a few questions, and Angie can handle the rest from start to finish or help you compare quotes from multiple pros and connect instantly, which means you can take care of just about any home project in just a few taps. Because when it comes to getting the most out of your home, you can do this when you Angie that. Download the free Angie mobile app today or visit Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot com. On June 7th, inspired by the unbelievable true story of a fake hitman, comes the new movie, Hitman, from Academy Award nominee Richard Linklater. At 96% certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, critics are calling Hitman a smart, sexy crime thriller with surprises at every turn. Starring Glenn Powell and Adria Arjona. Hitman, now playing in select theaters and on Netflix June 7th. Rated R. Not so great flood. I'm Rebecca Lieb. I'm Jason Horton. And this is Ghost Town. The 1928 film Noah's Ark is a landmark in cinema history, not only for its ambitious storytelling, but also for the tragic and fatal events that occurred during its production. Uh oh. Directed by Michael Curtis, who would later direct Casablanca, Noah's Ark was produced by Warner Brothers and was one of the first talking motion pictures, and one of the most expensive films ever made for its time, partially due to its large scale flood sequence. The 1928 epic romantic melodrama, slash disaster film directed by Michael Curtis, released by Warner Brothers, was based on the biblical story of the Great Flood and starred Dolores Costello and George O'Brien. The film tells two parallel stories, one set in ancient biblical times of Noah and the Great Flood, and the other set during World War I. Oh. In the biblical story, Noah, a righteous man, receives a divine vision foretelling of a great flood that will cleanse the earth of sinners. Mm. He builds an ark to save his family, and pairs of animals. As the floodwaters rise, they seek safety on the ark, where they endure the storm until the waters recede and they can begin anew. Classic tale. Classic tale, very uh, elegantly paired with a World War I story? I'm intrigued. In the World War I story, a group of characters are introduced, introducing a German-American and a Jewish-American who both love the same no, woman. Oh no, no, no. The okay. film explores themes of love, sacrifice, and redemption against the backdrop of war. The climax of the film features a dramatic flood sequence created using a combination of special effects and real water, which was one of the most expensive scenes ever filmed at that time. Yeah, I mean, it's a biopic about Noah and a war pick, and there's a giant flood and... A ton of animals at the time where they were just learning how to make talking features. And also back then, it was not atypical to have very expensive, very overblown sets. And, and you know, there's no – everything's practical. Yeah, yeah. And again, it's the early days they of They were like, let's pictures. just fucking do this. They were doing a World War I story, which had just happened, essentially. Yes. They're like, great, timely, but we're also going biblical. So you get everything, just everything. Then disaster struck. Of course. More on that after this break. Disaster. Angie has made it easier than ever to connect with skilled professionals to get all your jobs projects done well. If you own a home, you know how much work it can take, whether it's everyday maintenance and repairs or making dream projects a reality. It can be hard just to know where to start. But now all you need to do is Angie that and find a skilled local pro who will deliver the quality and expertise you need. Angie has over 20 years of home service experience, and they've combined it with new tools to simplify the whole process. 
Bring them your project online or with the Angie app, answer a few questions, and Angie can handle the rest from start to finish or help you compare quotes from multiple pros and connect instantly, which means you can take care of just about any home project in just a few taps. Because when it comes to getting the most out of your home, you can do this when you Angie that. Download the free Angie mobile app today or visit Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot com. Struck during the filming of the flood sequence. The set was a massive outdoor tank filled with water Mm -hmm. and thousands of gallons were used to create the flood effect. However, due to inadequate safety measures and the limitations of filmmaking, the water surged out of control, sweeping over barriers and engulfing the extras on set. It was like a giant wave pool, a deadly wave pool. Where the background actors were kind of on the front lines of, of, of these scenes. Jesus Christ. Also based on the constraints of filming, yes, but mostly safety being neglected. <laughs> Numerous cast and crew members asserted that both Curtis and writer Daryl F. Zanuck were fully aware of the potential dangers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's a giant tub filled with water. Some testimonies from the harrowing production even suggest they were indifferent to risking their colleagues' lives. I don't think the background actors are not colleagues, too. Mm, yeah, I mean, that also checks out, too, I would say. I'm sorry, they were pumped about making their giant overblown movie and they didn't care about the working class humans who are a part of it? Tale not, as old as time. Not much has changed. No, no, no. Cinematographer Hal Moore attempted to caution them about the impending catastrophe. He said, Jesus, what are you going to do about the extra people? He, Curtis, said, oh, they're going to have to take their chances. I God. said, not as far as I'm concerned. I'll never have anything to do with a thing like that. They insisted on doing it their way, so I told them to abandon the picture and left the set. Wow. Subsequent investigations in Warner Brothers legal records do not definitively document the actual fatalities. Of course not. Are you kidding me? You mean to say that the studio uh, protected their major, like, above-the-line talent who they spent tons of money on? Huh. Whether eyewitness accounts inflated the truth or studio executives suppressed it remains unclear, although it's pretty— I'm clear. I'm clear. clear. But good for the cinematographer walking out on that. The exact number of casualties is disputed with reports ranging from one to three deaths. Three seems to be the number. God. The tragedy led to increased safety regulations in the film industry, particularly regarding the use of water in movie productions. Yeah, you can't make an actual tsunami and kill people. Like, it's not going to work. Since 1928, there's been advances, but there's also a lot of hurdles where human beings become casualties of these unsafe, unregulated movie Absolutely. I mean, I just, I think about the Alec Baldwin, was that Western that he made? Rust? Yeah, Rust, yeah. I mean, that's something that happened literally two years ago, I think. I mean, it's still kind of on the forefront, maybe a year and a half ago, of the systemic problems in filmmaking. And if someone doesn't regulate that, and I'm not talking about a studio because they just want the bottom line and want profit, like the people who are creating these projects and who are at the top of the food chain, like unless they put their foot down, it's like, yeah, people... It becomes unsafe. People lose their lives. I don't know if we've talked about it on the podcast. An infamous example of that is the Twilight Zone. Yeah, Vic Morrow and the Twilight Zone. Yeah, really, really horrible, horrible thing. And that's, we're talking about early 1980s. Yeah, this is still going. Zero excuse. It's very frustrating. (laughs) This episode is frustrating to me because it, it feels like, like you said, not much has changed, despite maybe some measures, slow measures put into place. Despite the disaster, Noah's Ark was released to theaters and was a modest success. It's remembered today for its innovative storytelling and place in the history of cinema, marking a transition from silent films to talkies. Wow, innovative storytelling. Can you imagine being killed in a making a movie and then it being like a lukewarm success? Like, oh, for what? If you're somebody who's like, I want to see a movie about Noah's Ark. I want to see a movie about World War I. Well, guess what? I got the movie for you. Angie has made it easier than ever to connect with skilled professionals to get all your jobs projects done well. If you own a home, you know how much work it can take, whether it's everyday maintenance and repairs 
or making dream projects a reality. It can be hard just to know where to start, but now all you need to do is Angie that and find a skilled local pro who will deliver the quality and expertise you need. Angie has over 20 years of home service experience, and they've combined it with new tools to simplify the whole process. Bring them your project online or with the Angie app, answer a few questions, and Angie can handle the rest from start to finish or help you compare quotes from multiple pros and connect instantly, which means you can take care of just about any home project in just a few taps. Because when it comes to getting the most out of your home, you can do this when you Angie that. Download the free Angie mobile app today or visit Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot com. What impact do you want to have on the world? At General Dynamics Information Technology, GDIT, we put technology to work on some of the most complex missions in the intelligence community. Grow your career beyond your imagination with meaningful work that matters. At an award-winning top workplace, we are hiring clear technical and intelligence professionals. If you are driven by a vision of a better and more secure future, join us and apply now at GDIT.com slash careers. What impact do you want to have on the world? At General Dynamics Information Technology, GDIT, we put technology to work on some of the most complex missions in the intelligence community. Grow your career beyond your imagination with meaningful work that matters. At an award-winning top workplace, we are hiring clear technical and intelligence professionals. If you are driven by a vision of a better and more secure future, join us and apply now at GDIT.com careers.